Hi, and welcome back to part 5 of my tutorial series on how to use a tree view in Microsoft Access. In this part 5, I'm going to be focusing on right-click events within our tree view or context-sensitive menus. I will show how we can find out what the user clicked, how we can react to it, and how we can present a command bar or a menu to the user. If you've been watching for a while, you might, in some of the earlier parts of my series, have seen me clicking to expand the nodes over here. Now I want an easier way to do this, so the first command bar I'll be making is a command bar to expand or contract all the nodes at once. Now I cheated a bit and I prepared this command bar just for, just for showing off in the introduction. I'm going to right click empty space and you can see a command bar with two icons, or a menu, pop-up menu, with the option to expand all or contract all. As I contract all, you can see it all gets folded up nicely in the single main node. Expand all, everything gets expanded. So that's the first part, clicking on empty space. Second part is as I right-click an existing node, I get these options to insert a new node above, below, or inside as a sub-node or child node of my current node. I'm going to show you how to achieve all of this within this part 5 of my series. First, I'm going to start off by switching to the sample database where I left off in part 4, so you can continue to follow the entire process of making these command bars. This is the database as it looked where we left off in part 4. I've only changed the label down here. So we need to detect the right click event. Right now, nothing happens when I do a right click. So let's look at the events available to us. If we look at the ActiveX control and look at the events, the list of events is rather limited. However, if we close this and go view our code, you might recall that we already have a node click event. And if I make sure that I'm standing on the right form, have my tree view selected, and then click over here, I see a much more extensive list of events available to me. In this case, I want to code on the mouse up event. So, as the mouse is released, I want something to happen. Now the button, this indicates which mouse button was pressed. If it's the left mouse button, the button value will be 1. If it's the right mouse button, the button value will be 2. How can I remember this? Well, I could create a private enum, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert an extra module. No, actually I'm going to do it in the module constants. Public enum. I'm going to prefix it with an E for enum and mouse and enum. An enumeration is simply a list or a collection of constants. So I'm going to say left click equal 1 and right click equal 2. So now I have a public enum. I go to my form and say if emouse, because that was the name of my enumeration, dot right click. So if button equals a right click. So if I have a right click, then I want something to happen. Let's just test that this is working before proceeding. Message box you right clicked. Compile it. Switch to my form. So first I'm going to try left click, nothing happens. I'm going to try right click, 
and I get my message box. Okay, so I know my message box, and then a right click detection is working. So the next part is trying to find out which node was clicked. I can do this using the tree views hit test event. Dip node x as node set node x equal get tv that's the helper function I wrote last time get tv dot hit test. Now you can see the x and y these are automatically passed to the function whenever the mouse up is released and this indicates whether or, or this indicates the coordinates of the mouse at the time of the click. So I'll do a hit test x comma y. I'll simply pass the x and the y along to the hit test function. If node x is nothing, then user clicked empty space else user clicked a node. So user clicked empty space message box empty space message box node x dot text. So we're going to do a message box of the text of the node clicked. This message box is a function I'll often use as I test something and need to make sure that each step or complexity I add to my project is the correct or is working as I want it to. So let's try empty space. I get my message box saying empty space. As I open and right click now the introduction, I get a message box saying introduction. So I now know that my selection of which node or my test for which node is clicked is working. Okay, so I wanted to have a command bar when the user clicked the empty space. So call, and this is a function I haven't written yet, right click empty space. So I want to have a function when I right click empty space. I will write it down here, my new module. I'll call this module command bars. Public sub right click empty space. Now before I can proceed, I need to add a reference to the to the um, to the library in which the command bars are stored. So tools, references, and I need to find the Microsoft Office library. See this Microsoft Office 14.0 object library. The 14.0 that is the the uh, Office 2010 version. If you're using 2007, you will have a I think it's called 12.0. I don't know what happened to 13.0. Okay. So I start my command bar now. Dip command bar as command bar. Oops. Set command bar equal command bars. That's a collection. I want to add to this collection my command bar. I don't need to give it a name, but I do need to have a position. MSO bar pop up. And is this a menu bar? No. Is it temporary? Yes. This means as soon as the command bar falls out of scope at the end of the right click empty space, this command bar will not be stored into the collection of command bars permanently. That's quite nice because I want this command bar to be dynamic. Okay, so now I have a command bar. I need to start adding buttons to my command bar. Dim command expand all as command bar button. Set command expand all equal to the command bar 
dot controls so the collection of controls belonging to the command bar and I want to add here a MSO control button so far so good set command expand oops. now command expand all dot caption so this is the text display on my command expand all expand all now before starting with making more advanced code I want to test that the command bar will be shown so when I want the command bar to show I do the command bar dot show pop-up finally I'm going to add a bit of cleanup before testing set command bar equal nothing set command expand all equal nothing compile it and try it as I right click empty space I get my command bar saying expand all nothing is happening because I haven't told what to happen so command expand all dot on action so this is basically in here I write the function or procedure that I want my command to call function I'll just call it expand all so I need to write this function procedure public sub expand all so dim tv as tree view dim node x as node set tree view equal get tree view for each node x in tree view dot nodes if node x dot expanded equal false then node x dot expanded e expanded equal true and clean up set node x equal nothing set tree view equal nothing compile this let's try it right click expand all and everything gets expanded so simple I will copy this and make it contract all and simply switch the values of true and false I will have a dip command contract all as command bar button copy a bit place the name of the control compile this let's see if this works I have my expand all and contract all and both seem to be working and still if I right click a node instead of empty space I just get the text so the next part will be adding images to my command bar before I start working on what to do when a node is clicked so I'll right click go to design view and this is another area where the common control library is really useful because I can actually use my image list control for storing the images that I want to use with my command bar so double click images and these are the images I have already used in my tree view I'll click the insert picture and select my expand all and my contract all images that I have prepared remember that I need to give them a key if I want to be able to use them I'll call it expand all and contract all so now I need to be able to get my tree view uh, image list so I'll go back into code go to the module tree view in which I had already written a function to return the tree view of the main form I am going to 
simply create a function that will return the image list of the main form. Get image list as image list. So public function get image list as image list set get image list equal to the form image list for tree view dot object. Compile this. Go back to my module command bars, and now I do command expand all dot picture equal. Go to my image, get image list dot list images, and now I simply type the key of my image, and I have to end off with a dot picture. So I want to set the picture of my command expand all equal to the picture expand all stored in the get image list. I do similarly for my command contract all. And I simply replace the text here with contract all. Note that if I recall correctly, this is uh, case sensitive unlike most things in access. So you have to remember the capitalizations. Finally, I want to add the command contract all to the part of my cleaning at the end. Do a compile. I go test. I now have my images for expand all and contract all and they're still working. So the next part will be how to make sure that when I right click a node I need the option to create new nodes based on what is right-clicked. Thank you for watching.